Human beings are the only living creature with the power to design a unique lifestyle. And every day, each and every one of us faces two choices. To be less than we were designed to be, or to be all that we were designed to be. I have a granddaughter who, bless her heart, decided some time ago that she would enter into a competition. And this would be a very difficult test that she would have to take, especially given her age, and try to overcome all the obstacles and the frustration and the challenges and difficulties and reach a certain goal, reach a certain grade. And if she was to pass, as a reward, she would go to another state to compete with other children from throughout the world. Now, in the face of adversity, sometimes a person, and especially a child, can be overcome by fear, but not her. I was so proud to hear that not only did she pass the test with royal figures, but she also made it to the other state. What a pride. What a wonderful thing. What she has learned, I'm sure, from this is not only the fact that she became a better person by the knowledge that she's gained, but what she has experienced is that she can, at any given time, dictate her future. She can, if she wants to, go into positive direction. Because her plans are her own, and she is the architect of her own destiny. And so it is with everyone. We have the choice at any given time to choose what we want to do and where we want to go. It might not be as simple as changing direction, but destination will be the product of your own efforts. Because what happens, happens to everyone. What matters is what you do with what happens. That's what matters most. And she decided that she was going to, on her own, make it to that level. How amazing is it when a child decides on their own, and especially at a young age, to succeed through determination, focus, and courage to take what they have inside of them and make it better, to strive for a greater good for no other reason than the fact that she wanted to be there. There was no one to prove that to except herself. There was no one to even show that off to except herself. But she did it. What pride, what goodness, what greatness. How much more so. So many of us have the fear to succeed So many of us have the fear to take on projects and we get frustrated. Yet, she turned a fear and a frustration into a fascination. Because there's two ways to approach the future. One is with apprehension and the other one is with anticipation. And she chose the latter. This is what it means. To want to succeed and arrive where you want to be. Not only to develop your full potential, but to realize that you have within yourself the capacity, the diligence, and all of the great things that it takes to make you the best that you can be at all times. And at any given time, you have the power to become ultimate you. And this is what she's done, and I'm proud of her. And I thought I would dedicate this podcast to her strength and to all the children out there who want to make it work and will succeed. If you like what you've heard, please let us know by leaving a comment below. We would really appreciate if you would be kind enough to like, share, and even subscribe. Feel free to follow us on Facebook.